channel. Always, oh, I can't really talk properly. And yeah, this is my first ever video on YouTube. Well, it's not supposed to be my first ever YouTube video, but I am trying to rush the zombie kind of skeleton on this side look it's a recreation of one of my halloween looks that i did in one of the halloween parties that we had but it's a lot better i think it looks better if you guys want to learn how to do this look just stay watching <laughs> so guys the very first thing that we're gonna make is our prosthetics we need a microwave safe bowl Gelatin, make sure your gelatin is powdered and unflavored Not the jello one because jello has sugar in it and It's not gonna work if you use that You need 2 tablespoons of gelatin powder Just like so Then the next thing that we're gonna need is glycerol or glycerin You can find this in your local supermarket or pharmacy it's really good for your skin, it makes it soft, they use it for cosmetic stuff like um, foundation and moisturizer. So we need a tablespoon of water too, vanilla essence to make it smell good because gelatin smells disgusting. Now you're just gonna mix it and we'll take it to the microwave. Put it on for 20 minutes, oh no not 20 minutes, 20 seconds, sorry. And then we're gonna pump some foundation so it could match our skin. Just gonna mix and mix it, you can add more if you want. And that's the consistency that we're looking for. And our prosthetic is done! So now we're moving on to putting the prosthetics on But first we're going to put glue on the brows to protect it from the gelatin that we're gonna put on all over our face Also when we remove the gelatin prosthetics later, we don't want our brows coming off with it And we all know that brows are live and we don't want ugly eyebrows, right? <laughs> so we just gotta let it dry Now we're gonna attach the zipper using the gelatin mixture Please make sure that the mixture is warm enough for your face. You don't want the mixture too hot or else you'll get burnt. You also don't want too cool because you won't be able to spread it. When you attach the zipper, make sure you have enough mixture on so that it won't fall off like this one. If that happens, just apply another layer and you're good to go. See? If your mixture gets too cold, heat it up again for 10 seconds and wait for it to cool down before applying it onto your face again. Now we're gonna stick on the other bit of the zipper diagonally. So now we're gonna apply the mixture in between the zipper. Make sure that the mixture is spreadable enough to create texture. Just keep spreading and spreading and dabbing. Just like so. Make sure that the mixture is always spreadable. Keep spreading and swirling it around your face. And just keep... Dabbing and dabbing. I was gonna leave it just how it is now, but then my camera died, so I had to charge it. Then I had this idea of making the eye area look a little bit deep. We're not going to apply red eyeshadow all over it to make it look like flesh. Just keep building up the color until it turns out something like this. And then now we're gonna use black eyeshadow 
to darken the deep spots, to give it some depth, and to make it more realistic. Keep building up the color too. You know where all the shadow goes. And now we're gonna apply fake blood. The fake blood that I used here is a mixture of glycerin, few drops of red food dye and crushed black eyeshadow. Glycerin makes it look really shiny, so it's really good to use glycerin to make it look fresh. And then on this part of the video, I just did a skeleton look, so I just painted my face white while I use my concealer to make it look white. I also cutted the bits that are hanging out of the zipper. And then I did my eyebrows, of course, because brows are live. Then, make the eye socket area look deep and did the contouring. Contouring. I applied more fake blood to make it look really real. Then, drip some to my neck. And underneath the eye. And that's it. That's how it looks. It looks disgusting, right? So I decided to tease my hair to make it look more creepy, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, this is the look, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And hopefully you guys can apply this in the next Halloween. So please like, subscribe, and share this video.